Um, so Mecca changed me in, in several different ways. And, you know, um, oftentimes when I'm at the Capitol, I'm, I'm often the youngest person in the room. And through, um, through So Mecca and the work that I've done as a student, it, it taught me how to set standards. It's taught me how, how to improve the quality of my work and, and not to take things for face value, but to actually research and, and do things based on fact and, and think about how my work affects people, you know, um, not just the immediate people I work with, but people beyond, beyond our office and throughout the country. So when I was a student, I was involved with the SUA, uh, Stevenson Student Council, APISA, E Squared, and uh, Rainbow Theater, and those were the many things I was involved in, you know, and, and I was pretty busy. Um, but I, I did enjoy my experience at UC Santa Cruz. I never thought that I'd be leading anything or, or um, I felt that I even had the skill to do that, you know, and, and being a part of the, the variety of organizations I was a part of, it really challenged me to, to do some of the things that I never thought would be possible. I think that what SOAR has taught me is that, you know, if there's anything that we really believe in, there's always a way to, to, to make it happen and that, you know, um, there's always a way and, and if you're dedicated enough, you'll, you'll find that way and, and there are people who, um, who are going to be there along the way to support you and so I think that for me that was a really great moment because a lot of the things that I've aspired to do has, has been things that like, I never thought I would be doing. Part of it's me challenging myself but I think that it was a lot of the advice and, and guidance that I received through SOAR that made me believe that anything is possible and that we can, we can, we can make it happen if we are committed and focused on, on, on the task. I enjoy my job very much and before I came to DC, I always thought about things like the White House or um, Congress as something that only people who are really privileged have access to. And it's not a lot of my peers, it's not people our age, but it's, it's people who have experience or, or expertise in, in, in a certain area who, who get to work with the President or the White House. And so it's been a once in a lifetime opportunity and it was great last summer I was able to take a UC Santa Cruz student to the Oval Office to meet the president and that was um, something that you know none of us were, was expecting but that is what I enjoy about my job. You know it's not just about me but I get to share um, the different experiences I have with other people.